This video is sponsored by Ariat. Ariat has taken their popular Rambler boot and given it a Chelsea boot design to make it better for wearing with jean styles that simply don't look good with taller boots. So today, we're gonna break down the details of this boot in a quick impression video. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. Ariat is sponsoring today's video and they sent me two versions of their new Midtown Rambler boot, which is a Chelsea boot design based off of their popular Rambler style. So it's a very simple look and you know, it's a little bit shorter so that it can go with more modern jean styles. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the details of this boot. I'm gonna try it out with a couple of different jean styles so you can see, you know, where these boots would work the best and then give you my final thoughts in a quick impression format. So we're gonna start with breaking down the details and that happens with the rundown. Yes, this is the Midtown Rambler boot. And like I mentioned, it's a Chelsea boot style of their popular Rambler boot. It uses full grain leather on the foot, counter, and the shaft. It comes in two different colors here, the darker stone color and the lighter brown, which is called the barn brown color. They both feature a simple square toe it comes in at five and a half inches tall, and you also have a little bit of an elastic format there, which keeps this boot snug right up against your instep. Down here for a heel, they feature a one and a half inch composite heel, which is also a part of the outsole, and this is their Duratred rubber outsole. It's a tough material, but it's flexible enough to keep this boot moving and it doesn't take too much to break in, at least the outsole. We'll have to see about the leather. On the inside, it's lined with cloth around the foot. And we have two different kinds of insoles in both of these boots. In the Barn Brown, we have the all day cushioning removable insert. And in the stone color, we have the Pro Performance insert which is a little bit confusing. You know, who knows if that's just because they're brown and stone, you might switch it up. Like if you were to get the stone, you might end up with the all day cushioning. So that's just something to know when going into this. They don't use the same insole. You might be just getting whatever they have on the factory line. Underneath that insert, you have a fiberboard footbed with some added cushion at the ball of the foot. These boots are both made in Bangladesh and they're coming in at $159.95 at Ariat.com. Now it's time to try on these boots to see how they look and feel. All right, I got on the barn brown color of the Midtown Rambler. And you can see that it, does, it doesn't come up too high. These jeans that I'm wearing are a jean that I like to wear with just taller boots in general. It's the Ariat M1. And I wanted to show you what it looks like with just a regular jean that you would be able to wear other boots with, just because I wanted to see how it looked and if it just looked like a regular boot. And it does. Like, you don't know that this boot is only five inches tall when you look at it, you know, with the pants over. Who knows how tall this boot is, which is pretty nice if you want some versatility in your boot collection or just looking for a Western looking boot that you can wear with several different kinds of jeans. Just because this is so short, you should be able to wear it with lots of different kinds of jeans. But we'll see in a second because I do have a slimmer pair of jeans that uh, this boot is specifically meant for. Uh, so we'll have to see how that works with like a slim, skinny jean type of boot or jean. I know when I say skinny jeans, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, skinny jeans. But hey, that's what this boot is designed for. That's why it's called Midtown. And uh, we gotta see what it looks like because there's gonna be plenty of people watching who will want to wear this boot with skinny jeans. But in the meantime, let's talk about the insole. It feels nice. 
We'll have to see if it feels any different from the other insoles since they are different insoles in both of these boots and colorways. The leather is pretty stiff. It's very similar to the other Rambler that I tried, um, I don't know, several years ago. And it is pretty stiff. For sizing, I chose the size 10 and a half D. My true size is a 12 B. I'm a narrow width foot guy. And unfortunately, uh, this boot does not come in a B width. There are other Ariat boots that are B widths, but this is not one of them. And I don't believe the Rambler comes in any B widths in any of their styles. So for that reason, I picked a 10 and a half D. It works well with the square toe. You do have a little bit more room in a square toe, just so you know. So that might cause you to size down depending on what your foot size is. If it is a D width or narrow, or it might cause you to size up if you're wider. So it, it's, it's, there's not a hard and fast rule, but just know that there is more room in a square toe, which could cause you to size down um, in a lot of cases. Let's try the stone color with these jeans before we try it with the uh, slim fit jeans that I got over here. Here's the stone color, and this looks really nice. I like this color, I think a little bit better than the barn brown, but that's just a preference. Uh, the leather feels about the same stiffness, so there's no difference in the um, stiffness of this boot. It's definitely gonna take a little bit to break in this leather. Uh, the outsole does flex very well, which is nice, because you don't wanna you know, break in a stiff, <laughs> a stiff leather foot and a stiff rubber outsole. That's just gonna make it a pain. Um, so you only have one thing to, to really uh, break in. And the insole does feel a little bit different. It feels just a smidgen different. It feels a little bit less cushiony. Uh, it's not uncomfortable. You do have some cushion in there, but just not as pillowy, I wanna say, as the all day cushion insole. All right, let's, uh, let's switch it up here because I wanna show you guys uh, what a taller boot would look like with these jeans and then switch immediately to the slim jeans and show the value or the supposed value of these boots when it comes to slim fit jeans. All right, so this is the Ariat Heritage Roper. I'm wearing this boot as an example. I don't have the tall version of the Rambler anymore, but this is just for an example of how tall the boot is and how it will show through slim jeans. As you can see on this straight leg M1 jean from Ariat, it's covering up the top really well and the tops are kind of wide, right? Ariat has a lot of wide tops. Other brands do too, but Ariat, on these kinds of boots have wide tops. So you can see here that this jean did a good job covering up the tops of these ropers and the tops of those Midtown Ramblers. But let's try it with a more slim jean to see how these boots show through those slim jeans and if the Midtown Rambler does a better job. All right, so this is a Levi's 511 jean. It's much more slim. I don't know if it's actually a skinny jean, uh, but it is definitely a slim fit. And you can see how the tops of these boots are just kind of showing through. And it's not really the best look. So let me just sort of show you on both of these here. See how difficult it is to get these tops, uh, you know, under that jean. And then once you do get the tops under that jean, it just sort of shows through in an awkward way. So that's why I'm one to say, if you have jeans like this and it's kind of skinny or slim, to maybe just rock inside, you know? Just, just go shotgun, just tuck in, just own it. Because it just looks a little goofy when you try to <laughs> put the pants over a boot with a wide top uh, because it, it, it shows through in a very strange way. Now that you see what happens with tall boots, let's try these Midtown Ramblers again to see how they do with a slim jean like this. All right, so here's the Barn Brown example, and I've left this jean just tucked in to the top so you can see how tall the boot actually is. But look at that. You see how the boot is 
fitting much more nicely with a slim jean like this Levi's 511. You're not seeing any of the top. You're not even really seeing any of the Chelsea elastic either. So if you were trying to go for a Western style in your, in your, in your boots, but you really like to go with you know, slim fit or skinny jeans, this is a good way to go because it still looks a little Western. You know, you're able to wear a more form fitting jean if you want, and it's still got the look and the comfort of Ariat boots in general, it's just shorter, and you're able to wear it with slimmer jeans. It, it works, like that's the idea of this boot. Whether you like it or not, that's the idea of this boot and it works. Now let's see it with the stone color. All right, here it is with the stone color again. It's working really well. It's doing the job that it's marketed, that it says that it's doing, you know, slimmer jeans, but also you could wear more straight leg jeans that would work with other cowboy boots and it still look like a Rambler or any other Rambler on <laughs> any other square toe boot really. So it's got the Western vibe to it but you're able to wear slim or skinny jeans. Here's the POV of the stone color. You can see that square toe there. It's a good looking color. I think I like this color better than the barn brown. Here's the barn brown color. You know, it's pretty good. It looks good. I just don't, I just don't know. I like that stone color. It's just a little bit more of a cooler vibe in my opinion. Uh, but really, I don't think you could go wrong with either. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, so the Midtown Rambler does what it says it does. You can wear this Western style boot with slimmer jeans. It works great. You know, for sizing, I know it's difficult for me to explain sizing since I'm a true 12B and Ariat doesn't make B widths, but I will say that this 10 and a half D is very similar to other 11 Ds that I've tried from other brands. So maybe it's just about a half size small comparatively, but that doesn't always mean that you need to size down a half size. It could mean that you just need your true size. Another thing would fit in this is because it is a Chelsea boot and this uh, elastic keeps it much more close and snug to your instep, you have zero to no heel slip. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit different from some of the other Western boots that are taller, that don't have this elastic in there. So if you're going from Western boots, cowboy boots that are taller, and you wanna try this, uh, don't expect to have heel slip. Uh, you don't really need it because that elastic is keeping your foot exactly where it has to be. I will have to say that I'm kind of confused about why they have two different insoles if they're pretty much the same boot and only different colors. I think that's a little bit misleading. I think you should have the same insole in the same boot, even if they are different colors, because they do feel a little bit different. The all day cushioning one, like I said, is a little bit more pillowy than this pro performance insole. So if you were expecting to get one insole over another, then you might be just flipping a coin. Who knows what you get, uh, as far as I can tell. Other than that though, the boot is what it says that it is. It works great with slim jeans. The leather might take a little bit more to break in uh, than some other leathers that you've tried, but this outsole is durable and also flexible at the same time. Have you guys tried the Ariat Midtown Rambler? Let me know down in the comments. Share your experience with everybody coming through, wondering if this is gonna be a good boot for them. Also, just let me know what you think of this boot in general. I'd love to see your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much to Ariat for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Now that Midtown Rambler it's much grander with jeans that are skinny or slim If that's your style and it has been for a while Well, the Midtown Rambler seems like a win Thank you so much for watching today Why don't you check out another boot just like that The Ariat Booker up here 
or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here, and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.